So, it is 22nd of 11th, 2023, a Wednesday. Now, I do not consent to my tax money being used to arm and fund the Zionist state of Israel in its free-for-all genocide against the Palestinian people. I do not consent to my tax money going to MPs who voted against a ceasefire, which is a good, good, solid proportion of all the political parties across the UK. And why didn't they vote for a ceasefire? Well, it is in the British government's interest not to do so, because not only this, but there are gas supplies off Gaza. Who do you think wants those? The British government. Whose homes are they going to go into? The tax-paying British people. So when that gas comes through, it is the blood of genocide. It is the victims. It is those that have been murdered. The hospitals that have been destroyed. The bodies on the street of the children. Zionist state of Israel, don't talk about the 40 babies where there's no evidence, never been no evidence, never been no proof. We see daily evidence of the atrocities you are doing in Gaza and you have been doing against the Palestinians for over 75 years. Yet you play victim. The 11th of November. Okay, or oh, let's be more precise. Remembrance Sunday. And the white part of British, oh, you fucking British, mate, went down to London. <laughs> I found it hilarious. EDL boys, okay, who were actively encouraged by a, an Asian member of the British Parliament. To that Asian MP. Who the fuck do you think they're going to throw out first if they ever came to power? Who's getting kicked out? Who's getting removed? Thrown out their home on the nearest plane or boat back to where your parents came from. You are. You stupid woman. And now they're talking about hostage, uh, basic hostage transfer. I need to tell you boys and girls something. The moment that hostage transfer is over, just because they're stopping the bombing, doesn't mean there's not troops on the ground. The moment that is over, the Zionist killing machine will proceed to push forward as fucking hard as it can with American taxpayers' money, British taxpayers' money, and French taxpayers' money, to name a few. So you may be going and fighting against this and doing the marches and everything else, which I absolutely respect, okay? But even then, we've had on the British media, the so-called impartial media, the narrative is when these massive marches for Palestine happen, oh, I've never seen so much anti-Semitism ever in my life. They are trying to suppress everybody so they can quietly carry on committing genocide against the Palestinian people that are Christian, Muslim and Jew fighting against the fucking Zionist killing machine. Wake up before it is too late. Because next it could be you.